What's up, beauty crew? Welcome back to She Does Beauty. And if you're new, hello, hello. So I got an airbrush and I am super excited. So let's go ahead, put it together and get started on some nail art. It's pretty simple to put together. You literally just put everything on and you twist it righty tighty lefty loosey it is pretty loud but I mean it's portable exciting so I'm just gonna take these little stencils that I cut out on my Cricut machine and I only did like a heart and a circle. I didn't want to get too crazy doing too many because I'm in the process of moving and I don't want to lose them. So I'm just going to play around. Let's just play with it, right? So I totally forgot to mention what I'm using for the paint. I'm using acrylic paint and water. I'm not a huge, huge fan of gel, we all know this, but if you wanted to use gel and acetone, that's totally up to you. I'm using the acrylic paint and water because it is able to air dry and I don't have to cure it and stuff. So I'm just going to use the acrylic paint. I can still add a gel top coat at the end. So it's totally up to you and your preference. I just like acrylic paint and water a little bit better. I used maybe three drops of acrylic paint to two drops of water. You want it to be a little thin, but you want it to be um, opaque. So let's let that heart air dry for a second and we'll just move on to the next nail. We'll just play with this little circle and maybe play with our machine a little bit. There's a nozzle on the back that I'll show you that you can turn left or right to make the paint thinner or thicker. It is relatively easy trying to figure out the airbrush machine, but it was hard at first for me because it's just the getting the paint ratios right, you know? So don't get frustrated, just take a break, walk away from it for a couple days, watch some videos, and get back to it. Everything new is frustrating at first. So now the heart is dry, let's see how that looks. I kind of like it, it looks a little splotchy. So maybe we just need to be a little bit further away. Let's go ahead and just keep playing with another one and see how this one turns out. Right, so we'll let that one dry. Now let's look at the back of this and play with that little thinner, thicker nozzle. So if you move it right, it will kind of lock up on you, making it thicker. See, I couldn't move it. But when you move it to the left, you're able to kind of play with it. So I think that just kind of lets it become thinner and airflow more. So let's play with it. And then let me just try it again. And I feel like the airflow was already so much better just playing with that nozzle. So don't forget that that nozzle, I keep saying nozzle, 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 word of the day. So don't forget that little turn button on the back, <laughs> flame the button, it's a nozzle. So don't forget to turn that little dialer, okay? I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I just thought I was being creative and I kind of wasn't because it didn't really turn out too crazy. But yeah, just play with it. I kind of dig it. I love the airbrush machine right now. So if I wasn't moving, I'd be playing with it more. So once I'm set up in the new nail room, I'm definitely going to be cranking out some videos with that airbrush machine. Look at the hot! Okay, okay. I wonder how it looks on nude, so let's just play. Also, side note, am I the only one who is kind of obsessed with my nails right now? Because I love how like 
just clean and short they are. I know this is coming from the bad bit who wears extra long nails all the time, me, but with this move it wasn't too too bad because I was really happy that I got to do cute little stubby like overlays, you know? <laughs> but at least this little heart is going to jazz it up a little bit. As you can see, playing with that little dialer on the nozzle really worked though because it looks really, really good right now. I don't know what I did, but I'm just going to try to keep that setting because look at how flawless that looks. I mean, granted, it is like the fourth nail, so maybe it's just starting to just disperse better. I don't know. Maybe the airbrush machine is warmed up. Who knows? But I really like how it looks, so we'll just let that dry and then we'll peel it off. And I am obsessed, okay? I'm sorry, but that is just so dang cute, okay? So let me flex real quick. So as you can see, the difference in the heart, this one is a little splotchier and the other one is pretty perfect. So let's go ahead and add a gel top coat so I can show you guys that the acrylic paint is just the same and you can add a gel top coat over without having to worry about erasing the design. And then you go ahead and cure it and you're all set. Another thing I love about using acrylic paint is it's a super easy cleanup. So you literally just take a napkin and a little bit of water and you just clean up all the mess that you made. So just make sure that you use a gel top coat if you want to keep the airbrush design or any acrylic paint design that you're doing. But see, it's pretty easy to clean up. That's why I really like working with acrylic paint versus the gel. It's just easier cleanup. It's not super sticky, not tacky. And I don't know, I like it. It's easy. I love this heart, it's so cute. Let me keep cleaning this up and then we'll keep playing with the airbrush. Okay, so same thing. I'm just gonna take these heart stencils that I printed out and we're just gonna play with them and just do different placements and see how this looks. So kind of a pro tip, if you don't have a Cricut or a fancy cutting machine, it's okay, but what you can do is get like duct tape or painter's tape actually. Do painter's tape, don't do duct tape. Take painter's tape and cut out the shapes with like those hole punchers but you know how they have like the shapes like the heart hole punchers the butterflies like for scrapbooking you can do the same thing and it's, it's a little bit cheaper but i would say just invest in the ones that you know you're for sure gonna get versus getting a ton of them that you're not gonna need <laughs> I can already tell this is gonna be so cute. I love the purple with like the airbrush white. I don't know, it just is super cute. So the biggest thing is just to let it dry, make sure that it's not wet at all because if it's any kind of wet, it'll just tear up the corners. Um, I'll show you on the next one when you get a little impatient and see, show you what happens. But I love this, how cute is that? Okay, so let's just keep playing with it. So you just wanna make sure that you're pretty sealed up. Um, at least where the heart is, you don't have to be fully on the nail. You do wanna give yourself some leeway so you can pull it off. But you just wanna make sure that there's no gaps that the paint can like seep through.
So I sped through that, but let me show you what it's like when you take it off kind of right away without letting it dry. You can kind of see that the edges, they just leave little specks. Like no harm, no foul, it's okay. Like you can just scratch it off or take a wet brush, like a, like a 3D brush or like a little paintbrush, liner brush and just clean up the edges. So let's go ahead and add one more heart. I'm gonna see through this one as well, just so we can hurry up and see the finished product. So let's be impatient and peel this off and we'll let it air dry for a second. That way we can add our top coat without any of it coming off or smearing. I am so glad I did not give up on this airbrush thing. I was so close, so close to returning this and just like put it in the bucket like forever, you know what I mean? So I'm happy that I kept trying and persevered. So if you're having trouble with your airbrush machine, just play with it and I promise it'll end up working for you. If the gel isn't working, use acrylic paint. If acrylic paint isn't working, try the gel. Just keep trying. I know it's a pain in the butt, but it'll be so worth it because look at how cute this is. I'm so excited. I can't wait to do more designs and more videos for y'all. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed to see these awesome videos. And if you're subscribed, I love you so much. Thank you for being part of my beauty crew. And you honestly do not know how much I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys so much. Okay, look at how cute this is. Oh, I'm so in love. I'm so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these cute airbrush designs. Let me know down below if you're going to try this out or if you bought one. And I'll see you in the next one, beauty crew. I love you. Bye.